the man Philadelphia police are searching for right now. He's wanted for robbing two Temple University students and a third person at gunpoint this morning. Surveillance images caught the person dressed in all black. <laughs> dressed in all black like the omen. Hey, your niggas singing this is for my homie. And you know, man. <laughs> that kid, this student must have shit at a brick. This is probably a white student, too. Imagine that student probably shit it on himself, man. Especially think about it. You know what, the, like, you know how many students at your school have been killed murdered in cold blood during these robberies by these philadelphia um demons this kid probably shitted a brick man this morning surveillance images caught the person dressed in all black aiming a gun at one of the victims the incidents happened just off of campus it is tuesday night and the big story in action news is the urgent search for an armed robbery suspect near Temple University. Yeah, the robberies happened this morning between 6 a.m. and 7.30. Action News reporter John Paul live at Temple University Police Headquarters with the very latest on the investigation tonight. John. Yeah, Rick, Shar, we know that police are looking for a suspect tonight in that armed robber. We know at least three people were robbed. As you mentioned, two of them were students. This happened just off campus, and the pictures are frightening. Terrifying moments for a Temple student this morning. Action News obtained these pictures showing a man dressed in all black pointing a gun to the head of a student as they seem to try to pull away. Another picture shows the man pressing the gun to their head. Officials at Temple confirmed today it was a student and happened just off campus. I actually was walking in the morning when it was happening. Today, we went back to the scene of the crime and met Marissa Moyle, a junior at Temple. Saw that little brawl that happened right there. She witnessed the whole thing here at 16th and Burks around 6.30 this morning. She was on the way to class and saw the gun. I could tell that they had a weapon that was pretty harmful, obviously. We've now learned this was not the only robbery today. Temple University put out a statement saying this was one of three incidents this morning. Here's a look at where the robberies happened. Two students were robbed on 16th Street, both inside of Temple's patrol zone. A third robbery happened on the 2000 block of West Jefferson, but did not involve a student. Temple put out pictures of the suspect wearing all black and a face mask. Students who walk this area every day are on alert. It's kind of frightening. I mean, we kind of walk this way every day and seeing stuff like No prognathism. Jaw comes in and down. Nose comes out. Jaw comes in and down. Race ain't no construct. What's up, Osu? What's happening? Yo, Ak, what's goody, my G? Ain't nothing. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Oh, man. That 13 year old. Yeah, they've been watering the joint down. <laughs> Yo, it's hey. crazy, man. Nah, that's they don't want to admit defeat. Like there's nothing they can do to stop this. And they gotta they gotta soften it as much as they can and pat it. They just they got they just can't admit that they got no hold on this situation. And yeah, he I don't know, were those recent pictures of him? They look kinda he look kinda young. I mean he is, he's 13. <laughs> I mean, he's still, I'm saying he even looked younger than that. He, oh, yeah. he, he don't look like the element, like the, in that, those pictures, he don't look like the 13 year old element, but there, you know, there's not really a look, but yeah, um, there, there ain't a look when you're that young. Cause you still got the baby face. Yeah. But some of them, you, I could still look at and be like, oh yeah, they would, they would, this just, but yeah, you can't, it's not, it's not a particular look. But um, I didn't know if they were just showing, you know, sometimes they'd be showing like the little bit, the 10 year old pictures. And, you know. Maybe it was a 10 year old picture. I'd be like, shit, he's 13. So if they asked the mom for a picture, he right. be from 11 to 10. Yeah. Know? And My all his. On the um, avatar is for me when I was fucking 26 and shit. So it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And all, all his 13 year old joints might be gang, gang joints. Can't show them. Yeah. 
<laughs> but uh yeah, no, nah, but but that's why he he was living he was living it up. He was in the trenches, man. Um yeah, we, he, I don't he was yeah. he was moving around Elvins, yeah. Those um, are Pomeroy. <laughs> That was all the street. That's my hood. That was my neighborhood. That was, that's the those other are, side. Yeah. Other guys don't walk too much. Yeah, that's over the bridge. All of those streets are yikes. All of them. Yeah, man. That that's that's the type of spot. Tell them, Osa, if you meet fucking a broad that looks like fucking Janet Jackson in her prime, and you fall in love at first sight, and she tell you you can come over, and she tell you she live over there. No, sir. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, no, sir. It's a couple of one way streets. Like the next street is a one way. You go down that yeah. jump. Nah. Hey, you got to live there, bitch. Right. Why you can't live in it? A... <laughs> right. Yeah. Don't even do it to yourself. You might as well just, just call it quits, man. Call her an Uber to come to your jump, man. Like, don't even play. It's not even, you can't even. You can't even pretend like it's okay over there. Like no, no matter it ain't no okay matter what the killers. It's kill, killers killers exactly. get killed. That little boy, that little boy was over there carjacking people. He was probably <laughs> fucking carjacking somebody. He probably carjacked somebody who was a killer. Yeah, facts. Facts. Or less than one degree separation from one. Yeah, hey, man. And this is Philly. This is Temple. This I mean, is, this, this is three in the morning. morning. Three, three before nine o'clock classes start. Three incidents. <laughs> a lot of people don't know Temple is in a terrible neighborhood. Yeah, it's close to um, Broad Street. I used to hang around uh, at Temple. I knew some some sisters up there. Yeah, I used to hang out at Temple, so, uh, Broad Street. Yes, yeah, it's, it's yikes. Yeah, it's it's it's. This is a terrible neighborhood. Need these white kids. Walking around and man, bless their heart. Stuff like that makes you feel a, a lot less safe about it. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I'm concerned, but like, what am I going to do about it? Temple says it's reviewing camera footage and did enhance patrols in key areas. Today, we saw an officer near the scene, which students say helps them feel more comfortable. Personally, I think they did they done a good job. That's a shame. What's up, Joe Hooks, man? What's happening, man? Oh, uh, what's going on, Ock? What's on your mind, man? Yo, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm not. I can't remember that guy's name. Shit. You just call me Osa. Osa? Yeah, Osa. All right. Um, it, that type of shit right there pisses me off. Like the way that white woman is like, eh, well. Eh. I guess we deserve it. I, I can't stand that shit. I, I can't yes. stand white people that. Uh, what? But do you understand? Do you do you have do you have sympathy for the fact that like, yo, if she says anything that remotely is like punishment for a black person or rebuking a black person, um. That it's almost like her peer group will get her before any black people will get her. Like the, this little girl that she's with, I don't know if this is her walking with her friend or whatever. Yo, if 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 she said the wrong thing pertaining to anything a black person did, no matter how egregious the black person was acting, this girl would be the first one to turn on her and check her immediately. Yeah. And I think that's total fucking bullshit. And that's why people need to wake up from being woke. It's total fucking bullshit. I I I can't stand that shit. Like uh um I'm I'm fuck, I keep going on with Canadian shit. It, it's the same with uh uh Jordan Peterson. They're they're trying to do him like he's teaching kids wrong. You're from Canada? Yeah. Uh, T.O., remember? I'm, I'm the T.O. guy. Oh, okay. What's up, man? Yeah, man. What, you look a little it? different, man. With Toronto? With what's T.O.? Yeah, Toronto. You look like, you look like the fucking oh. dude from um, in, in, um, Invisible. What's that thing, them little things? Um, in, 
invincible me. What's them little things? The little a minion, a minion. The little minion. <laughs> you look like the dude despicable that um, me. Groove. Yeah, despicable me. You look, Groove. You look like Groove. <laughs> yeah, you look like Groove. Oh, Groove. Right now, man. <laughs> Man, whatever, so don't, whatever. Don't ever, don't ever shave your head, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Go ahead, man. Oh, I love you, Ark. I, I love that. No, no, Go but ahead, man. I, I, I fucking hate this shit of God damn it. See, now I'm on your channel and now I have no idea what the fuck to say no more. Hey, right, now, salute, salute, I, Jordan Peterson. Though he stands ten toes down, though I respect him. Yeah, and salute. Uh, what's his name? The black dude that died. Uh, Devin Samuels. Kevin. 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 Kevin Samuels. Sorry. I bet called him Kevin Samuels. We got to clip that. I got to clip that. Kevin no. Samuels, man. In America, you get called racist for that. <laughs> exactly, man. What you mean, Devin Samuels? You get called racist here in Canada too, but I, I, fuck, I hate this, man. Every time I try to come on here, the shit I want to say, right. I, I love, I love you, Ock. I love everything you're doing. I love everything, everybody on your panel. That, Salute, that's basically what? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Let me move along, man. Appreciate you, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Move along, man. Tell I got nothing. 